All right, folks, Tommy Coward here, Growing Green, with my man Rodney Wicker. We're getting ready to put out some plots. This is part of Growing Green's research. And what we've got is outside, you'll see in a moment, how we're using soil amendments a lot these days, these organic soil amendments. The healthy grow with organics. It's going to be replicated three times. The Miramichi seeding enhancer soil amendment which is biochar. This is actually chicken manure with uh, a good analysis 795 with the organics impregnated on that. Then we're going to be using this AMP which is calcitic limestone. It actually contains both magnesium and calcium carbonate as well as uh, humic acid and it's got iron in it but We've been seeing that really help improve the soil. So these are some of the tests. We've also got a, a McGill compost that's going to be going out, another plot of that. And then we'll be using what's been an old standard, a 24105 fertilizer. That's a starter for that has some biosolid in it, but you can see there's a lot of urea and some uh, P and K, phosphorus and potassium as well. So we'll go out here on the plots. We've got them all laid out. Replicated three times in this location here at Grown Green, and we'll show you what we're doing out there. All right. All right, folks, Tommy Cowett here, and I got to tell you, man, it's just a beautiful day here in Kernersville, North Carolina. You're looking at the facility here at Grown Green. We've got our plots laid out here, they're 10 by 10, and uh, so each one's 100 square feet. And all of our products are weighed out at labeled rate to do that. Well, you can see that growing green car is weighted down. The main reason is because of this turfus we're also using. It's a calcinite clay, calcinized clay. I'll show you what that looks like here. And this is really great for water holding capacity and probably improving your CEC as well, cation exchange capacity. What we'll do is we're going to actually incorporate the uh, McGill compost and the calcinitic clay with the aerovator. This is the McGill compost. I'm going to go out two bags of this soil builder to uh, 100 square feet. So uh, everything is uh, pretty much laid out. Let me show you what I got here. Weed free zone, baby weed free zone you know using the old trusty calculator but here are the plots this is the way they're laid out see that We've got three controls the C the turface is T SF is uh, starter fert Miramichi is the M's see how I've got them randomized HG is the Healthy Grow, MG is McGill, and A is an Amp. Now what I'm going to be doing after this is weekly doing some, uh, actually, seed germination. I'll be looking at the germination of the seed. Here we are. It's October 30th. Actually, yes, yeah, the 30th. Tomorrow's Halloween. Beautiful. We're starting to see this fall color come in. As you can see. Got my new GoPro camera. I'm so happy. But anyway, folks, let's get started. We'll be putting uh, let's get the material out. Folks, well, you can see I'm kind of putting out some of this. Uh, got them spread into the plots. But let me show you what this uh, turf looks like at this label rate on the ground down here. So you can see that. I've spread that out evenly across the board down here. So that's the way uh, we're going to go with the McGill now. All right, folks. All right, folks. Here we are. Just apply the McGill compost and the turfist calcinized clay, and Rodney's working it in. That's what the McGill looks like going down. It's another McGill plot right here. And he's just going to lightly go over this with the aerator. All the plots are going to get the identical treatment as far as that goes. I'm going to show you something here, man. Look at that. Growing green, baby. Love you long. 
All right, now the reason we're doing this is we use a lot of soil amendments in the fall when we're seeding. Try to improve these heavy clay soils here in North Carolina. What'll happen is after I put the rest of the treatments out, we'll start taking some measurements. And basically those are gonna be subjective in a way. They will be uh, just visual estimates of each plot. And we're gonna be looking at quality, cover, density. We'll do root depth as well. We'll continue to do these plot uh, evaluations on basically a monthly period once we start getting and see as we go through a whole year or two with the plots seeing what it looks like next summer when we start getting into the heat we should have a much better root depth we're going to try to determine which one of these or if they're all equal in working well now there are checks here there's three control plots with no treatment at all so we'll be taking those measurements here time to count on the lawn let's get back to putting out some plots all right all right folks so we're laying out some plots now basically everything's randomized it's all in bags weighed out for the hundred square foot plots i intend to come back over the top of this with some seed and dialogues and insecticide to ensure that we get uh we don't lose anything give you a panoramic view here of the facility here grown green Kernsville, north carolina all right let's keep moving with this all right folks one of the staples of the growing green program is our seed we like to use this dwarf turf type tall fescue from barren rug the water saver blend zero weed seed zero other crop it's got a great germination percentage 90 percent uh, Bearcat, Barabusto, and Barrington. And as you can see, lo and behold, the beauty of that. And that makes for a really nice tight lawn, as you can see down here. A lot of this washed was seeded earlier on. But like I said, we're going to be doing some, uh, just, subje I know it's subjective, but we'll be doing various readings on these. Just taking um, measurements visual and we'll even do some root depth but uh to see if some of these soil amendments are helping us anyway folks hope y'all are having a great one tommy coward here i'm gonna get the seed out signing out from growing green on this gorgeous day here october 30th 2015 hey love your lawn growing green baby have a great one bye bye